Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August, 2023. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt, big moves happening in the sky now. Boy, is this a very special time. It is a blue moon month and you are at the heart of it. At the end of the month, that second full moon we're going to have this month is in your sign. And it's that second full moon that is the blue moon as well. And what that means is it is a time when so much is going to be illuminated for you. But first, a lot is going to stir within you on levels of soul and psyche and spirit. So let's take it one at a time right out of the gate at the beginning of the month. We've got a full moon happening in the sign just before yours. So there's a couple of interesting things about this full moon. On the one hand, it's making a quick moving alignment uh, with Mars. And so there's this sense of so much restless energy stirring within you. But it's also connecting with Jupiter as well. And that is an energy of overdoing it uh, with this happening in the sign just before yours. Um, this is so much about what's happening in the dream space uh, on levels of soul and psyche and spirit. And a lot could feel like it's stirring within you that you can't quite put your finger on. I would say the best strategy for just about any Piscean out there, especially as you are beginning this month, is to make sure you're getting enough rest. That can be a very powerful place in which you're able to work through some intensity, some emotion, or just whatever it is that is seeking to find healthy closure, but also seeking to connect with a knowing that you have so much more yet to do in this lifetime. Whereas for other signs, it might feel like their lives are changing in certain ways uh, that may not necessarily be true for you because some of what, if not all of what you process might be happening on those energetic levels. However, if you feel like your life is changing, chances are it's going to feel as if there's an intuition, there's an instinct, it's been building uh, until it's undeniable, until it's there. And this has to do with what you didn't know, all of a sudden you know. And the sudden factor is there because of Mars. That is the getting a rise out of you energy that we have. But then what to do with it? Because there's going to be a part of you that wants to see things from the very best lens. So it's important to stay open and strive to stay open at this time. Always do what's right for you to do in light of your unique circumstances and be very diligent with practicing self-care. If some thing, information about any person, place, thing, situation, or even about you is coming forward now, it's okay to acknowledge that, to honor that, um, and to know that whatever you're ready to know is what's going to present itself to you. And you can embrace it, knowing that it is for the highest good for you and of all concerned. Now, in the middle of the month, we have a powerful new moon. And that new moon takes place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. This is about your work life. This is about how well you take care of you. Some interesting things about this new moon include the fact that it is close in the sky to Venus. That connection with Venus is rather intriguing because it speaks powerfully to a depth of appreciation, of understanding that what is transpiring here is asking for your love, is asking for your joy in some way. Remember, the larger lesson around this Venus retrograde season is to ensure that you live a life that you love in real ways and in practical ways, to ask yourself if love is here, heart is here, and if it isn't, to at least get to that place of truth as part of your journey. So this new moon represents an important moment in that. There might be new work-related opportunities. Uh, there might be a new or renewed sense of changes you want to make on a level of health-related habits. As long as it's rooted in heart, you will know. And that's when you're on the right track. However, there's another factor to take into consideration as well. And that is the fact that we have got Uranus in an exact conversation of tension with this new moon. Now that is a shock 
surprise kind of energy. That is a wild card energy seeming to come out of nowhere. This is a new moon, which represents new beginnings, including new people. So this could be a time when out of nowhere, there is a new uh, person who is a client, customer, or coworker that shows up. Now it's possible because it's a Venus retrograde that this is someone who surprisingly comes back into your work environment. So that's one way this energy might play out. Another way the energy could play out is your work roles going through a change, your work environment feeling like there's factors there that have to be addressed. There could just be a day or so or a few hours where it feels like things are shaking up until they settle down. And it might not have to do with the work itself, although that could be it. It could just be the environment. There's construction going on or something like that. The electricity goes out. You have to address it. You do. And you continue on. Outside of work, though, it can be a time when you find yourself with a renewed, perhaps sudden interest in your health-related habits and taking the very best care of you. It could be that you come across some information now that feels like a wake-up call of sorts and has you feeling like you really want to implement some changes, in some cases dramatic changes, or maybe return to some of your habits that you had long ago. You do want to be careful with this. You do want to pace yourself at this time because um, as much as the energy is one of change, you not realizing how far you're going with it, um, that can happen here, okay? So pace yourself and be yourself, as I like to say. Um, this is also where we have Mercury starting to slow down to a standstill, going retrograde on the 23rd of the month. And that can suggest that information in general uh, isn't necessarily clear or accurate or understood the way it is intended. So if you're making changes to your health-related habits, to your medications, for example, um, you just want to be careful with that, knowing that with Mercury Station uh, and then soon retrograde, there could be a sense of all the information not being correct. At the end of the month, that is the blue moon, and that blue moon is going to reach you personally and profoundly. That blue moon happens in your sign. And the full moon's characteristics include a quick moving conversation with Mars, just like we had at the beginning of the month. Um, we have this energy of you feeling like you need to respond very quickly. But what we also have here is Saturn. Saturn at this time is close in the sky to that full moon. And so in many ways, this is a serious time, a time of consequence, a time of maturity and responsibility. And part of that responsibility might be to yourself. You getting real with yourself about a matter near and dear to your heart. You being honest about how your actions and what the evidence is showing you about who you are and where that's been incongruent with what it is that you've believed about yourself. It is about you getting in touch with an understanding of what meaningful self-respect looks like for you and where it is that you are aligned with it and where it is that perhaps that isn't the case. Because this focuses on priorities, it focuses on identity and what's nearest to you, a lot of this could play out in terms of you knowing yourself more deeply. But I do think that for many Pisceans, and what happens in general is, how do we know what's nearest and dearest to our heart? Well, it's love that points the way to that. And sometimes that is not romantic love, right? It could be familial love, uh, love within friendships, platonic love. Um, that could rise to the surface at this time as you realize how certain people are especially important to you. Your alignment, your connection with them defines you in ways that you like, in ways that you love. But we've got to talk about romantic love here as well. And where it comes to matters of love, I think it's going to be an important time. Um, what we have happening at that full moon a week before, we get Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign. So a few things to know here, breakups that happen with Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign 
tend to not stay broken up. Misunderstandings become that much more possible, but past partners could come back in very much by synchronicity and happenstance. But the other factor is that as we get to that full moon in your sign and you're becoming very aware of what you feel, that alignment with Mars is rather interesting. Mars at that point is going to be in a part of the sky for you that has to do with profound truth, profound change. Um, it has to do with being really honest with yourself and vulnerability and intimacy with another. The opportunity of which could show up very much in a way that feels not so much surprising, but sudden. There could be an opportunity for intimacy that feels especially passionate, but just remember, with that Mercury retrograde, you want to be sure that whatever's taking place, you don't want to hold people too much to whatever's transpiring now. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, what a remarkable time this can be. Loves of the past coming back around in some way. That could be a big trend for you now. Or you could be attracting people, aligning with people who are very similar to people you've known in the past. In some way, you are addressing your romantic past in the context of this moment today. Um, it could be that you connect with someone and you're feeling so much in the moment, you may really not know who they are, and yet there's likely to be this desire for connection, profound connection that can have you feeling pulled towards them. For those of you just starting to date someone, um, breakups that happen, that do not stay broken up with a Mercury retrograde like this. But also I would say, be mindful of making big life altering decisions in love this month and next month as well. Part of the reason is this Mercury retrograde is a really overall positive one. And I love that there's these lovely surprises. There's so much hope. There's so much possibility um, that you could envision yourself partnered with this person and you might become partnered with this person very quickly. Um, I would even say for some, there's going to be like happy eloping that might happen for some Pisceans out there, but then things get real. <laughs> then on the other side of it, as we get to the end of the month, there's a much more honest evaluation about who this person is and what this experience has shown you about yourself. And so pace yourself and be yourself, as I like to say, um, give yourself time to really learn about you and learn about them because it's a journey now and where possible, try and be patient as you learn of each other, uh, in the midst of some pretty powerful celestial transits. For those of you who are in an established bond, what a remarkable time this can be in the context of established bonds. Well, there can be a sense of being all in or not. That Saturnian energy that takes place is about getting you honest about what you know to be true in your heart of hearts and where it is you feel that you are living in a way that fuels self-respect. And I don't mean living in terms of the practical realities, the habits, the rituals that the new moon mid-month is suggesting, but it's about whether or not you believe you are living in integrity or not. Where there's been inconsistency, the discontent of that is going to come to the surface and where that shows up in your relationship is going to stir especially strong as we get to the end of the month. There's a lot of healing vibes here with that Mercury retrograde. And so if there have been challenges, this can be a time of renewed commitment, or maybe you're giving an ultimatum of some kind. However, what we also have here is if it is that your relationship is wonderful, it's amazing. It could be about going back over old plans, perhaps things that you said to each other, like, yeah, one day let's do that, or let's plan on changing our lives in this way at some times. This is where the two of you start getting serious about that. It's part of fortifying the relationship and navigating forward from here. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a powerful and meaningful astrological moment. I am going to say that full moon in your sign, it really is the star of the show now. 
But I think a lot of Pisceans are going to feel very imaginative and captured by the fact that you're going to have Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign. Loves and partners from the past could just pop up by happenstance or synchronicity. It can feel as if you've returned to some past situation so ideal, so beautiful, so fun with the person that you love or perhaps with someone new. Regardless, though, it's a good idea not to make big life-altering changes where it comes to love with a month like this, especially in light of that full moon, because that full moon at the end of the month gets you very honest and has you living in integrity, which is an incredibly valuable thing to court, to welcome in, even if you know the awareness around where you could be living in greater integrity means the pain of being aware of where you're not living in integrity. That may not necessarily be a situation that plays out for all Pisceans out there. At the same time, though, honesty always is the foundation towards building a sense of self, of who you are, that is solid and sure. That is just one of the great gifts of this time. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership rate at NadiaShawSuperstars.com where you get expanded, exclusive horoscopes, class passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.